Google camera is about to die and we're starting a new vlog. <laughs> well, welcome to another week. Heyo. I'm actually almost at the end of my work day. It's four o'clock on this fine Monday morning. Let's just take a second to realize that I said 4 p.m. Monday morning. That ain't right. That ain't right. I've had meetings all day, uh, which has been great, and I've got some work done, which is really good, but yeah, I, uh, I also have a pimple patch, which I really love pimple patches because it, like if I accidentally scratch it, it doesn't hurt. <laughs> Speaking of which, I have this little pimple here too. Ugh. Okay, anyways. Yeah, start of the vlog. New new week. I also have like stuff on my lens. This is great. Thing clean. Okay, nice. I'm actually going to head out and go to Target because I made an order. I needed a few things. So I got them things. I've really been into cookies. Been loving cookies. I tried these like vegan, paleo, no sh added sugar cookies. They weren't terrible, but they weren't great either. Decided to go with a different vegan cookie brand and I'm gonna try that except this flavor is not chocolate chip it is fudge brownie because I'm just really in the sugary mode I'm in the sugary mode but yeah I am gonna go charge my camera because it's literally dying and I'll talk to you in a bit <sighs> Just finished my last meeting of the day. Um, it's officially 5.30, your girl is done. But I'm not really done. I'm gonna work tonight. Gonna get some stuff done because I was talking to a coworker about how to build something, like a part of an app. And he was like, you can do this script and it can do all these things and it will like connect everything and it will be great. And I was like, what about offline capabilities, mobile use cases? Like, I was like, what? Is there a spider on me? No, it's just a hair on my finger. Um, anyways, and I basically need to look at his app and how he kind of like builds it for his client. And I need to like, try to do it for mine <laughs> it's similar but it's very different and being able to kind of just see how the code is done is very helpful for me to kind of like figure out the differences that I can make yeah so that's great and he like made a connection for me that I wasn't making this weekend and it's just made my life so much easier but I kind of wanted to come on here and talk about keeping promises to yourself I like posted on my threads that like keeping your own word matters keeping your word to yourself matters and i think things that i post on threads are mainly just things for me to hear more than for me to tell people like when i'm posting on there it's like unless i'm like sharing a video like hey i have a new youtube video or something like that it's really just me kind of like if i'm giving advice I'm speaking to myself more than anyone of like, hey girl, you need to be doing this. But um, essentially, I'm just gonna rest you on my knee here. I have been thinking of the idea of like your word being very important and how when you keep your word to other people, it's so valuable when someone can notice that as like part of your character, like who you are as a person, they're like, that person keeps their word to me. Like they say that they're gonna do something and they do it. And I find for myself, if I say I'm gonna be somewhere, like if someone invites me to a thing, I'm gonna show up. Like I'm not gonna be flaky. Like I feel like we all have like a flaky friend who 
like they never show up to things or they only show up to like the most exciting thing and it's usually never your thing um we can all relate we can all relate to that but I feel like if I say that I'm gonna do something and it comes up first like I prioritize that thing and I'm gonna do it unless something like like unless I'm actually sick or like I'm not feeling well or whatever like then I won't show up which doesn't happen all the time rarely happens but like if I'm feeling pretty good I'm gonna be there there's rarely a moment and I feel like I keep my word to my friends I keep my word to my family to those around me like I if I say I'm gonna do something I do it but I find when I make set a goal for myself or I set an intention or say like oh I'm gonna do something for myself I do it about like 50% of the time and I think it's important to commit to yourself and show up for yourself and say like hey I set this goal for myself or I set this intention so I'm going to keep my own word I feel like that's the best form of self-care you can do and that's like the self-care that matters the most and maybe that's like inner child work healing of keeping a promise to yourself because maybe when you were a kid no one kept their promises to you like show up for yourself, commit to yourself, have the discipline to be like, all right, I'm going to drink water every day. Do it. Don't just bail on yourself, like show up for yourself because you're worth it. If your friends and the people that you care about are so important, why are you not making yourself a priority? And I say this as though I'm talking to myself. So like, please don't feel like I'm being preachy, but like, Yeah, I've just had that realization of like, I need to make myself my own priority and show up for myself and say that I care for myself and keep my word. And if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it and I'm not going to back out type of thing. So, and I've been showing up for myself in like big and small ways the past month and it's been really good. I have moments where I slip and that's okay. And I just try to pick myself back up and keep moving forward. Thanks be to God. Like, I'm glad that I'm never stuck in the place that I started. Like, we all are not stuck in the place that we started. We're in a completely, even if your situation might feel the same or it might feel like you're in the same place, like, you are truly not where you started. Like, no one is truly where they started. We've all moved and evolved in ways. Maybe you're in the same situation or same like area but like circumstances could be different like your mindset could be different like things have changed about you and so acknowledge that and like give yourself grace in that don't beat yourself up so yeah I think that is uh very very uh something that I've been kind of learning I'm gonna watch I'm gonna I started watching Heart stopper. Hold on, let me let me turn on. On this stuff. Where is it? Where is my remote? Where are the things? I feel like I'm turning into my grandma with how I can't find anything. It's on Prime. It's a Korean drama that's on Prime. Let's see. I think it's called Heartstopper. Nope. It's called Heartbeat. (laughs) I'm going to watch Heartbeat. I'm going to watch the rest of this episode. And then I'm going to continue working. Also, my fiddly fig is like really growing. Look at her. She's so big. So I picked up these with only clean clean ingredients, right? And it says, whoa, wait. It says safe to eat raw, which your girl is eating them raw. This is my second one. And then I'm putting this away back in the fridge. But these are so good. Oh my gosh. 
but she told me that they're gonna be so good like baked that looks so good so yeah I'm a fan I'm a fan of this So essentially, like, there is a new record that's being added to a view. So anytime there's it's added, then, like, that would trigger the recipe to kind of work. Like, if you have, like, all four of the events and, like, with chaining and logging, I wonder if it's kind of similar to that of why it, like, doesn't work when it's, like, two at the same thing. Maybe there's, like, a chaining thing. I don't know, but... I could be reaching. Awesome. Thanks everybody. Bye. Let me see you using your headphones. <laughs> Doesn't it sound nice? I'm on mine. Mm hmm. Wait till you be on the plane, girl. Wait till you're on the plane. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the noise canceling is nice, but it's also great because you and I have small ears and it like really covers. Yes, it does. And it didn't hurt. Yeah, it's really nice. It did not hurt. I'm so glad you got those headphones. I hear them too in the way. I was like, I don't want them. <laughs> I like, Man, I was listening to it because I was doing my... Um... All right, about to be in another meeting. I take my vitamins because it's that time of the day. But yeah, today is just like build meeting, eat on the go type thing. And I uh, already went to the gym, so it's been very productive. I'm trying to go to the gym at least four times a week, but aim is five times. So. All right, gotta enter into my next meeting. Hey friend, how goes it? Oh, <sighs> just finished my second meeting of the day. I have a third meeting. I had more meetings for today, but those got canceled. Thank God, because I need time to build. But I was gonna cancel my client meeting, but I decided I'm gonna meet with them. I'm just going to go over a few small things and then continue building because I really just need to like get on it. I'm a little behind um, because they got everything to me all at once and I'm just like, I got very overwhelmed and I was like, I don't know what to do. And I just like need a moment to just like, you know, recenter myself. So did that. But yeah, today is going to be better because I kind of know where to start a little bit I still feel a little bit overwhelmed because I'm just trying to gather all the feedback um and make sure I understand what to do but it is a little hard it's a little hard 
anyways um i am gonna put in a ticket for my house my apartment uh just to make sure that i don't have molds in here because i'm afraid that it's causing me to get sick and it's messing with me um because i just like feel off and I know that sometimes, like, if you think something's true, it could have a placebo effect and really cause issues. <sighs> Come on, VPN. So, yeah, I am just like, that's what I need to do after I talked to my grandma this morning. She was like, yeah, just submit a ticket and have someone come check it out because you need that clarification that mold is not in your apartment i i'm really hopeful it's not but i think it is um just because of like the discoloration that is in the ceiling and yeah there's that oh so yeah that is um that is me I have no plans this evening, which is nice. So I'm gonna, yesterday evening, I, I did work. Um, I like worked on a script, a pretty large script to automate a few things, um, which that's all I really do like with scripting is just automating things to happen, fill this thing out, connect this, make it auto set, make this current value equal to this current value. Make sure that there's no previous value. So yeah, that is uh, what I be doing sometimes. I don't know, I think I lost my train of thought. Anyways, I am going to uh, continue working and submit a ticket. I think I'm gonna make myself a matcha latte because I feel tired and I am tired I am tired because I woke up at 4 45 this morning and was like I'm not going to the gym that early and then I woke up around 6 30 and left for the gym and when like I wake up go back to sleep like that makes me tired throughout the day but I also went to bed late last night I mean I went to bed around midnight um i think like 11 30 midnight and yeah i think no it was like 23 45 so yeah 11 45 close to midnight to say that i am tired is an understatement i need to catch up on sleep tonight um tomorrow i'm trying to see if i have like any major plans tomorrow no, I do not have major plans. I have one client meeting. Oh, I have two client meetings and two internal meetings. Thursday is very busy. Let me take you through my Thursday. I mean, you'll probably go with, through it with me. And I'm dog sitting on Thursday. It's my last weekend dog sitting, so. But I would have to show up in the afternoon. So at least I don't have to go there in the morning. I'm really tired thinking of it. But anyways, Thursday, I have stand up first thing in the morning. Then I have a uh, retro, a team retro after that. And then I have a one on one with my boss. After that, I have a client meeting. I have a break for lunch. And then I have another client meeting. Client meetings last me about an hour. Sometimes 30 minutes, sometimes 15 minutes, but these ones are on Thursday are gonna be an hour. Uh, then after my last client meeting, or not my last client meeting, but like my, my first afternoon, after my one o'clock, I have like an hour break. So that's when I need to go to the house and let the dogs out. Um, and then I have an internal team meeting at three. 
And then at five o'clock, I have another client meeting with my client who is overseas. And then I have a Bible study slash baby shower like 30 minutes afterwards. Friday's gonna be nice because I'm technically off, but I have, I'm gonna delete that because that is no longer happening. Um, but I have one client meeting. I try not to do client meetings on Fridays because, and on Monday mornings, just because I need time to build things but also like i don't want to go into the weekend like with meetings i'd rather go into the weekend of like all right it's friday i don't have to meet with people i can take my time i can like build i can catch up on things like fridays and monday mornings are my time to like catch up and like get my work done because during the week i just have like meetings every now and then and having like the start and stop is not my favorite it would be my favorite if i was like a project manager of like meetings all the time but i'm not a project manager and that's what i want to be i want to be a technical project manager so hopefully that will like be the next thing i kind of go into but right now i'm an app developer slash engineer and yeah i build apps for people and it's taken almost a year for me to like learn coding language whoa like this the realization literally just hit after i said that like i had just started around this time last year and then three months in the job i was just like imposter syndrome heavy six months into the job another imposter syndrome heavy i was like i don't know if i can do this this doesn't make sense and now i'm like in it and i'm like having conversations with my my coworkers as though i know what i'm talking about because i do know what i'm talking about there's still a lot that i don't know and a lot that is left for me to learn, but it's like, wow, to see and feel and hear that growth is insanity. Anyways, my camera's gonna die. So I'm gonna talk to y'all later, but I think I'm gonna make myself a matcha latte because your girl is struggling. I'm struggling so hard. Good morning. I'm really liking this skin tinted moisturizer it really matches my skin very very well i went with an even more natural look of no eyeliner um i love eyeliner but i was like i'm not gonna do it today anyways i'm about to head into a meeting kind of an exciting one because i have a lot of things working for the app and then yeah uh gonna go to H Mart. I realize I ran out of bananas. Well, I only have half a banana left and I didn't end up using it today because I was like, I'm probably gonna need it more for tomorrow. So yeah. Morning team. How's it going? Oh, nice. Awesome. So you're saying that every time a <sighs> meeting one is done. Now it's time for me to just continue building. It's 9.30. I need to make myself some breakfast. I have to be at H Mart at 11. So I'm probably gonna leave here in a little bit because it's gonna take some time for me to get there. But yeah, I love going to H Mart. 
I go so often, like it literally does not matter the distance your girl is going. Um, but now that I have like an actual grocery list, AKA one thing on my grocery list, which is bananas, I'm gonna get that. Meeting went well, got through a lot of stuff. I'm feeling like way more confident. It's just like interesting to think about like a year ago, I was just starting this job and then like months into it, I was like, imposter syndrome was just heavy on your girl. And now I feel like I know kind of what I'm doing and it's making a lot more sense. And I'm feeling way more confident in my job, which is great. But um, I forgot to water my plants yesterday, so I need to do that today. And yeah. Um, I gotta take my vitamins here in a few minutes, but I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. I was planning on taking my hair out this week, but we have a company meeting next week, and I don't really want to like take out my hair and have it natural. Not that anyone's gonna like ask me questions, but like. It's gonna be so much more easier on those two days to just have my hair in braids and not worry about it than like have my hair natural, have to wake up even earlier to make sure my hair doesn't look bad. And I don't wanna put heat on my hair. I'm really trying not to put heat on my hair. I'm trying to limit it to just like when I wash and dry. But yeah gonna have this in for another week i was planning on like taking it out this week because i'm getting my hair done in two weeks at the end of the month and yeah so that would have been next friday is when i get my hair done and today is currently wednesday so i was like oh i'll take out my hair today or this weekend but I'll probably take my hair out on Wednesday. So I at least have like a day and a half of like my scalp being able to breathe. I mean, it can breathe fine, but you know, just not like my neck not be like as heavy. So there's that. I'm gonna work on some things and then go to H Mart and get some groceries. Samsung Galaxy, which is pretty cool. He said there's a sticky note on it. Oh, I see it. I see the sticky note that has the code. Nice. I can start using this for testing, which will be good. It was so funny, I was like, it feels kind of like we're doing a drug deal. <laughs> He's like, I know, right? Um, I also, besides getting a bananas, a bananas, I got bananas. I got like this exfoliating towel thing for six bucks. It is so hot in this car, oh my gosh. But yeah, I am, uh, oh, someone was behind me. I am done on my errands. I thought for a second, hmm, should I go to Trader Joe's? Then I was like, no, nah, I'm already here. I just need to get bananas. Walked into H Mart. Was going to get strawberries because they had a deal. They had two for $3 um, for strawberries, but 
I didn't see any strawberries that looked good to me, so I didn't end up getting them. And I was like, I am close to Costco, but I need to calm down. I need to calm down. What I am gonna get though, is I'm gonna head to, okay, someone was literally driving on the opposite road. That's terrifying. I am gonna go to Whole Foods and get some popsicles. Cause I haven't had those in a minute. And I just need a healthier option than the cookie dough that I previously had. Nothing wrong with those cookies, it's just, I need like a healthier sweet option and the healthy sweet option for me is fruit popsicles. Frozen fruit popsicles is what I need. Um, because I have a sweet tooth, I want to give in to my sweet tooth, I don't want to deprive myself. But having those cookies, I had way too much yesterday and I'm just like, it's easier when it's cold and also it's been very hot in my apartment recently so having something to physically cool me down is nice um i wasn't buying the frozen popsicles because i was buying fresh fruit but i'm out of fresh fruit so then i bought the cookie dough because i was like oh it'd be nice to like make cookies and they weren't bad like they weren't bad they were really good but they're very addicting and I just don't have that self-control right now. All right, to show what I got, this is what I got y'all, right, right here. So H Mart got some bananas. I got a thing of rice because I still haven't cleaned my rice cleaner. So I shouldn't have done that, but I was like, just, I need to eat something for today and I don't want to take time because there's dishes in the sink. Also got this, the exfoliating body towel from, Cos uh, not Costco, H Mart. And then Mr. Bakery obviously got my little blueberry cookies because they're so good. And then I went into Whole Foods, saw these last minute decision. Hey -o, AC, turning on. Um, got these finish this almost in the car I still have quite a bit left but Whole Foods was also having a sale on their strawberries and their strawberries looked really good so I got this instead of getting the frozen popsicles so I feel I feel good about my purchase feel good that I got fruit instead of the frozen popsicles because typically I clean these and then I put some date sugar on them and eat them as like part of my dessert. So yeah, got two things of strawberries. Those will hopefully last me for the next few days. I go through fresh fruit pretty quickly because I love fresh fruit. Bananas on the other hand, I don't go through as much because I use half a banana in my smoothies. So I'm going to, these look pretty much ready to go. So I'm gonna cut them in half not cut them, but just break them in half and put them in the freezer. All right, I have two more meetings left and each meeting is an hour long. So um, I had the break in my day to like go pick up the stuff, which took about an hour to like go and come back and all that stuff. And now I'm just gonna watch the rest of a heartbeat episode and then get back to work. So nothing much, but I also went to Whole Foods because I was like, I want to get the frozen popsicles, but I also want to see if I can get this like skin tint thing at Whole Foods and I didn't find it. So I'm gonna look it up actually and see. I should just ask my friend where she got it from. Honestly, a really great match and it's a, stin a skin tint. So it's like not heavy on my skin at all. Love it. Just looked it up. You can get it at Walmart. Y'all, I'm so excited. Because this stuff is so good. Like, it's so nice and very light. New fave. And $5. So affordable. 